Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jane Watson, Product Marketing Manager for Area 1 Security. If you're finding that phishing emails are hitting your end user email boxes and exposing your business to data and financial breaches, you're not alone. Today's webinar will focus on Miss Fish, why legacy secure email gateways miss fish, what's necessary to get ahead of phishing attacks, and how you can fortify your email security infrastructure to stop targeted phishing attacks. I'll also share a customer case study that demonstrates that with preemptive phishing infrastructure detection, attacks can be stopped. Let's start by discussing a recent high-profile attack. Last year, Google and Facebook fell for a targeted phishing attack that collected $100 million over a two-year period. This particular targeted phishing campaign involve forged email addresses, invoices, and corporate stamps in order to trick employees into believing that they were receiving payment requests from a supplier, when in reality, the payment requests were from a cyber attacker. Pretty frightening that even large, successful companies with sophisticated cybersecurity teams can fall victim to targeted phishing attacks. Email continues to be the number one threat vector for data and financial breaches. And targeted phishing campaigns continue to be the most effective tool in a hacker's toolbox. In fact, 95% of cyber attacks start with phishing. So why aren't legacy email security solutions providing protection from these kinds of threats? Let's look at how secure email gateways detect threats. Secure email gateways, whether from Cisco, Proofpoint, Mindcast, or other vendors, all function in a similar way. Basically, their first step, sometimes referred to as connection filtering or connection management, is to scan incoming email to check where the email is coming from. Is it coming from a known malicious IP or domain? Is the sender sending high volumes of email to your organization, potentially indicating a denial of service attack? Is the sender repeatedly sending email to non-existent recipients, indicating a directory harvest attack? Is the sender on your block list? If the email doesn't pass these checks, it's dropped or quarantined. If email passes the connection filter checks, the next step is content filtering. This is the step that looks at the content of the email and applies techniques including heuristics and signature checks to detect if the email is spam or if it contains known malware. The email may also be checked using sender authentication techniques such as DMARC to validate that the sender is who they say they are and not an imposter spoofing a trusted sender. If the email is found to be spam or malicious or from a fraudulent sender, it's dropped or quarantined. These first two steps, connection filtering and content filtering, are useful at detecting known email threats, threats from IPs or domains with a bad reputation or email containing known malware. But they're less effective at detecting threats that haven't been previously detected, often referred to as unknown threats. The third step in the process, advanced threat protection, tries to address this gap by analyzing suspicious email file attachments and URLs using techniques such as file sandboxing, executing the file to detect malicious behaviors, and conducting URL time of click analysis to detect malicious sites. Secure email gateways block and quarantine lots of spam and many email threats using these, this three-step process. But despite all these sophisticated threat detection techniques, targeted phishing attacks, such as the Google and Facebook attacks, still frequently evade secure email gateway defenses. So why do targeted attacks get through? The timeline on this slide is actually taken from a Microsoft blog post and illustrates how attacks and protection from attacks progress. At the left, you see the attacker launching a new campaign. After the attack is launched, malicious email starts to arise in end user inboxes. Threat teams analyze sample malicious emails and extract threat intelligence and create signatures. Secure email gateways are updated with the new signatures and new threat intelligence so that they can detect and block follow-on emails from the attacker's campaign. As you can see, there's a window of vulnerability after that attack is launched and before signatures and threat intelligence updates are deployed uh, to detect and, and block threats. In order to generate the signatures and the threat intelligence that secure email gateways need to protect from threats, Threat research teams use large volumes of threat samples taken from active attacks. The large volumes of active threat samples are used to identify patterns that point to malicious sites, IPs, domains, and malware. 
The threat data derived from the samples is then used to create signatures and update the signature and reputation databases used by secure mail gateways to detect and block threats. So in the early hours and days of an attacker's campaign, or if the campaign is low volume, large volumes of threat samples aren't available for threat teams to analyze. Threat teams can't do their detective work, and security mail gateways lack the threat data necessary to detect and block incoming malicious email. Attackers understand this limitation, so they've created attack techniques that can get past security mail gateways. they created targeted phishing attacks, attacks that are typically low volume, sent to a limited set of targets, and often launch and then shut down quickly. With this targeted attack technique, large, large volumes of threat samples aren't available for threat teams to analyze. Threat teams can't do their detective work, and secure email gateways lack the threat data necessary to detect and block incoming malicious email. But the Microsoft attack timeline doesn't consider the whole picture for phishing attacks. Behind every phishing campaign, before an attack launches, attackers typically set up infrastructure to execute their attack. They often compromise servers belonging to organizations without those organizations' knowledge and use those compromised servers to launch their attack. The compromised servers are used to execute campaigns, including activities such as sending spooked emails to target victims, receiving and sending command and control traffic, downloading malware, or harvesting credentials from unsuspecting victims. Even before a targeted phishing campaign is launched, there's a lot of attacker activity involved in establishing the phishing sites and infrastructure that attackers need to execute a campaign. Traditional security technologies aren't proactively scanning for attacker activity before campaigns launch. They wait until the campaign launches, collecting only threat samples from active attacks after victims are impacted, at which point it's too late. And with low volume attacks, which are typical with targeted phishing, threat teams may never see enough threat sample volume to recognize an active campaign. In order to protect from targeted attacks, we can't wait until campaigns launch. By then, it's too late. Area 1 takes a different approach. Area 1 doesn't wait for attacks to launch. We proactively hunt for phishing sites and campaigns before they launch and before organizations are impacted. On average, identifying malicious phishing sites and malware 28 days before industry threat intelligence sources such as VirusTotal. Area 1's early visibility allows us to detect and help block incoming targeted phishing threats that other technologies miss. Area 1 gets this early visibility by proactively hunting for new phishing infrastructure as it's, setting, as it's set up. Using high-speed web crawlers and network sensors, Area 1 gathers in-depth threat actor information and attack data across 150 parameters. The technology collects, tracks, monitors, and parses live data from email, web, and network streams. This detailed real-time visibility reveals crucial information, who the attackers are, plus how and when they deliver attacks, deriving the early accurate threat information that powers Area 1 Security Horizons anti-phishing service. Area 1's anti-phishing service adds an additional layer of protection to legacy email security solutions. While legacy solutions detect and quarantine spam and known email threats, Area 1's preemptive approach detects and helps block targeted phishing attacks that legacy solutions miss. The service is easy to deploy. When added behind a legacy secure email gateway, the service detects phishing email and tags detections with an X header. The downstream mail server then takes policy action, whether to drop, quarantine, or deliver the email based on the X header value. 
The Area 1 Anti-Phishing Service can also be deployed in front of email services such as Office 365 and Google G Suite to protect from targeted phishing attacks that the cloud office security technologies frequently miss. At Area 1 Security, we believe in delivering cybersecurity that works. And if it doesn't work, you shouldn't have to pay for it. That's why we offer a new model of cybersecurity, the first and only performance-based protection in the industry, with a 99.997% phishing catch rate and a 28-plus day time advantage over competing solutions. We're confident we can deliver the most effective protection you can buy, or you don't pay anything. With pay for fish, you pay only if fish is detected. There's no upfront cost and no time commitment. We also offer annual subscriptions, and you have the option to choose the pay for fish model and then convert to an annual subscription at any time. Area One is actively protecting many organizations from targeted phishing attacks. One such customer, a global consumer products company with 35,000 employees worldwide, had deployed best-of-breed email, web, and network defenses, but still experienced routine occurrences of targeted phishing attacks penetrating their defenses. After deploying Area One, the incidence of phishing emails evading detection was significantly reduced. In a two-month period, Area One detected and blocked over 370,000 malicious emails that the legacy email security protections missed. Thanks for joining today's webinar. If you're concerned about phishing attacks evading your existing security defenses, Area One Security can help close the gap by adding a layer of defense that provides early visibility into phishing sites and infrastructure before it goes live. The Area 1 Horizon Anti-Phishing Service deploys easily with legacy security technologies and cloud office suites and detects and protects you effectively from the new low volume targeted phishing attacks that other defenses miss. Thanks again for listening to the webinar today. Uh, for more information or a demo, please visit, visit our website at area1security.com forward slash demo. Thanks again for listening. Have a great day.